So, yeah, I caught a person texting while driving. You know what? I think I caught one a couple weeks ago, too. Only I didn't have my camera on. So I cannot report that guy. I just gave him a nasty look through my visor because people could totally see my face through my visor. Not. Nobody ran me over. Okay, good. Yes. Nobody ran me over. Oh, yes. Man, to be honest, I've kind of gotten a little bit, or I've kind of slowed down a little bit motor vlogging because uh, I just hate editing so much. I don't like editing. <clears throat> but here's a topic I just realized I could have. Motor vlogger burnout. Aw, oh, snap. And I don't mean like a motorcycle burnout. Because those are neat. But I mean like burnout where you, you're all excited about something and you do it for a little bit and then you kind of run out of energy. That's kind of what I've been experiencing. Maybe it's just a lack of practice, but I kind of have a hard time trying to talk and ride at the same time just because my mind is one track. I like to focus on one thing. It's not so much that it makes it dangerous or something for me to ride while, while talking, but it's just that while I'm riding, my mind is like, oh, yay, ride. hum de drum de drum I'm on my motorbike, not thinking about anything else, which I guess is good to not think about distractions. But then it kind of puts me in this state of mind where I'm like, oh, I'm not vlogging about anything. I'm just riding. And there's times for that. But then I kind of keep wanting to vlog, but I just don't have anything to do it about. <clears throat> oh boy, I should not have come here. This is boring land again. So yeah, kind of trying to not get burnt out from doing vlogs. I don't want to end up like my Let's Play channel where I just kind of stopped forever. I want to keep it up. Because this is actually a community. It's not like Let's Playing where all you do all day long is just uh, play video games and hope people watch you and try to get famous. I feel actually connected to some of the other people who do this as opposed to the let's playing community. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really try my best to get involved in a community. I just kind of pop in and then hope osmosis takes place. Mode of vlogging osmosis. LOL. LOL. L-O-L. Lachen aus laut. I smell cow poop. So yeah, how do y'all deal with motor vlogger burnout if you've had any experience with it? I kind of figure that after I do this for a long while, I'll just get better at talking about stuff on my motorcycle. Yellow light. Yeah. And then I'll have more stuff to talk about. Because as it is, my typical Moto vlog is just like stream of consciousness stuff. I talk about the things I see and try to make puns out of everything because puns are the best. Another red light. Yeah. I love stopping. Stopping is what I do best. Or worst, according to some people. Let's see if I can catch any more texting while driving peoples. There's a bunch of cops out today. Wonder what's going on. Oh yes, behold the dead people. Wonder if I should ride my bike through the funeral thing. Through the I wonder if I should ride through the cemetery. Wonder if anybody would get mad at me for taking a motorbike through the trails. Because it's paved. 
connects right to the road. Obviously cars are meant to stop in there. I should tear it up like a racetrack. Meow. Try to see if I can lean over to touch one of the gravestones in a tight turn or something. And then maybe I'd have a gravestone of my own. Oh yeah. No motor vehicles. We'll see about that. I think I'm gonna turn around and go into that one place. That's the benefit of riding a motorcycle. Do U-turns anywhere. Welcome. Well, I am quite welcome if I do say so myself. You are entering a 90-acre nature preserve. Health, hope, and healing. Flourish here in harmony with nature. Please drive slow. Blah, blah. Said something about driving slowly, but... <clears throat> he who has health, has hope, blah, 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 blah. Dude, this is awesome. As I grow older, I pay less attention to what blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to read these signs really quick. Choice, not chance, determines destiny. Pfft, uh, of course, but what choices you have to make is determined by chance. All things are difficult before they're easy. That's true. Sucking at something is the first part of being good at something. Happiness is found in doing, not merely possessing. This is also true. My motorcycle says so. Failure is success even if we learn from it. That, that's true. I crashed, I learned from it. Success! While they were saying it cannot be done, but it was done. Action is the foundational key to all success. <laughs> what is this, like some weird self-help place? Self-help igloos! Oh boy! Oh, look at tree! This is a self-help tree, the tree of helping oneself. Oh, I see the swanses! Man, I thought I was going to be able to drive through the whole 90 acres, but I guess not. Unless I just did. Was that 90 acres? I wonder if they say other things on the way back. Let's find out. Look at them igloos. And a pyramid. Ah, see Illuminati. Oh, see, it is footpaths. Okay. Once you know it is impossible to not know, you better that. There is a better way, find it. If everyone is thinking alike, then no one is thinking. <gasps> True that. Discovery favors the prepared mind. Money is like manure. It's not worth a thing unless it's spread around. <laughs> Bullshit. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. We promise according to our hope, we perform according to our fears. Do the thing you fear the most and death of fear is certain. What? Oh, the death of fear is certain. One man with courage makes a majority. Dude, I think that wealth is like manure line is totally Marxist propaganda. Spread to wealth. No. My wealth. Do it a park. I'm gonna go in the park. Maybe. Oh yes, now the park. Park closed midnight to 5 a.m. Oh snap. Ooh, a climbing thing. You know, this is a nice little road. If only there were like five miles of it that I could blast through at 100 miles per hour. Which I probably wouldn't because I suck too much. Go around the roundabout. No parking. Okay. Oh boy, a little bit of sand. I feel like the left side of my tires always get more attention than the right side of my tires. But we can fix that, can't we? Right here. See, I have a, a slight fear of doing right turns because when I was on my bicycle, 
before I had my motorcycle, I was kind of practicing doing turns on two wheels. I was getting into counter steering and all that. I had a speedometer on my bicycle that I set up with a, like a magnet on the wheel and a counter on the handlebar. <clears throat> and I was just practicing doing figure eights and seeing how tight I could get them. I was going about 18 miles per hour, which is, I'm doing 14 now. And then I had the brilliant idea of trying to hang on to the body of the bike with my legs. Like, you know how you hang on to a bike with your, uh, a motorcycle with the tank? <laughs> There's no tank on a bicycle. There's just a bar there. So I kind of fell off the bike. The bike fell down, tires ran out of rubber, and I fell down on my right side, injured my, or I didn't really injure my right arm, I scraped it. I put a tiny, tiny microscopic scar on my right arm. So now I have this tiny little phobia of doing right turns, so I'm trying to kill that right now. It's helping. Oh, it feels good coming out of a turn like that. So yeah, my brother, then when he went over to get his like uh, cables adjusted on his bicycle at the bicycle shop, told the bicycle people how I was trying to practice getting my knee down on my bicycle. Which I was, <laughs> but the bicycle people just shook their heads and they were like, what the heck? So that's my little story for today. I think I'm, uh, you're going to start seeing kind of shorter vlogs coming out of my channel now just because I have the ability to turn them off and on right in the middle of the road, which is to push the button instead of having to pull over for my stupid audio recorder. So yeah, that'll do it for today. I got the... I got the uh, motor vlogger burnout and my little story about turning. I think that's enough for one video. So, till the next video, bye bye!